If you're a registered dietitian, you've probably wondered, can I use ChatGPT to make a meal plan? And the answer is yes. In this video, I'll show you how to use ChatGPT to make a dietitian approved meal plan. Now this meal plan can help save you time and keep you within scope. Whether you're in private practice, working on content, or working a clinical job, you'll find value from the tips in today's video. So maybe you're wondering, why should I care as a dietitian? So meal planning, as you probably know, can take forever, yet clients request this from us all the time. I've been there trying to personalize a meal plan, but still make sure I'm efficient in the process. You want to meet your client's preferences and still make sure that the meal plan is balanced. With tools like ChatGPT, you can now use AI, artificial intelligence, to make meal plans a lot faster. If you, the dietitian, give the right inputs, then you have a chance to get accurate results that can really help your clients and can be evidence-based in practice. Now, I still want you to double check all of your work because ChatGPT is not thoroughly backed and up to date with all nutrition research, but it can definitely provide a foundation for us. In today's video, I want to provide you with the prompts that I use to save you time when you are creating resources, whether paid or free for your clients. I also want to make sure that what ChatGPT gives you is something that as a dietitian, you can stand behind. So let's make sure that we know the right things that we're asking the tool, meaning AI, to use when it comes to providing a meal plan. Now let's make sure that our inputs, meaning what we we ask the tool are accurate in order to help get the best result for our clients. I want to share with you some of the exact prompts that I use. So here's an exact chat GPT prompt that I recommend for generating a basic seven day meal plan. Create a seven day meal plan for a 40 year old woman with prediabetes. She needs 800 calories per day. Focus on high fiber, low sugar. Input uh, include simple meals with common ingredients, show daily calories and macros, and make sure this is dietitian approved. Now you can modify this. If you want to adhere to cultural preferences, you can add that. If you have, of course, different ages, different medical conditions, you wanna make sure that you're adding that into your prompt. I'm just giving you a basic example that you can work with on your own, or you can do this with me at the same time on your computer. So let's break down where my prompt came from and why it was a good prompt to start with using AI. So I gave context, age, condition, and calories. So you wanna make sure that you have context when you're using prompts for ChatGPT to generate free meal plans. I also asked dietitian-friendly outputs. Make sure that you're reviewing the answers before you deliver the final result to your client. That's always true when using artificial intelligence. You never want to just you know send it and forget it. You always have to review what ChatGPT is giving you in terms of their answer. So once you tweak it and you make sure that the result matches up with what you believe uh, fits correctly using your clinical judgment, you can then take this document and use Canva to make it more beautiful. Uh, you don't need to do this step. This is just an extra step if you have capacity. You can ask, GGB, you can ask ChatGBT to generate a PDF or you can create a simple PDF or a Google document. If you wanna make an extra step, you can find a beautiful template pre-made uh, preferably in Canva, input your data into Canva, and then you can have a beautifully presented meal plan using a nice graphic. And bonus points if you can match your brand colors with that graphic, if you have your brand colors already picked out. If not, use something neutral. You're probably wondering how to use this in practice. Again, do not give the raw output from ChatGPT to clients. You must review that. That's what's gonna make the output from ChatGPT stand out, is that the dietitian, meaning you, are reviewing the answers, making sure it aligns with your values and making sure there aren't any errors because bias does happen, so you're supposed to review everything. Use ChatGPT to build you outlines for meal plans, brainstorm recipe swaps, generate grocery lists, and just prep content faster. I love the ideas that ChatGPT gives me when it comes to clinical practice. If you wanna save time while growing your practice, using ChatGPT the way I've outlined above, that's the way to do it. Subscribe to learn more content about using ChatGPT to grow your practice and save you time. And if you're looking for a free starter guide to grow your business, I want you to grab my free guide listed in the description below. We'll see you next time.